Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, the continuous energy conversion devices, the category of electromechanical devices, which is the uh, continuous energy conversion devices, which are also called as rotating electrical machines. Okay, so. I have already posted a video related to the electromechanical devices, the categories in which the electromechanical devices can be uh, categorized or put into. There we discussed uh, three important categories in which electromechanical devices fall into the transducers, force producing devices and continuous energy conversion devices. So in this video we are going to just shift our focus on the continuous energy conversion devices which are also called as rotating electrical machines and we will discuss some basic introductory concepts associated with it. So what is a rotating electrical machine? So a rotating electrical machine is a device which continuously okay this word is very important continuously converts electrical energy into mechanical energy or mechanical energy into electrical energy okay so they are called as continuous energy conversion devices the rotating electrical machines so here the word continuously is very important the other two categories the transducers and the force uh, producing devices they work for uh, maybe a certain period of time or after that then again they have to be restarted but here it works continuously so these uh, rotating electrical machines are used for generation of energy be it electrical energy or mechanical motion of large quantities in bulk quantities the magnitude is very high so uh, as we have already discussed the electro a basic electromechanical machine involves an electrical system a mechanical system and to join to combine both of them we require a coupling field so the coupling field can be of two types electrical coupling field or magnetic coupling field but because of certain disadvantages the electrical coupling field is not used so the magnetic coupling field is always used in case of electromechanical machines so this interchange of energy between the electrical and the mechanical system involves a coupling magnetic field. So the two uh, main devices which come under the rotating electrical machine is the motor and the generator. So a motor converts electrical energy into mechanical energy, a generator converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. So what this electrical energy means, it can be voltage, current, the mechanical energy can be force, torque, anything, any mechanical movement, okay. So if voltage or current is converted into mechanical motion, movement, which can be in the form of torque, force, anything, so this that is the function of a motor and if that mechanical movement is converted into electrical equivalent electrical parameter in, into voltage or current then that's the, that is the function of a generator so again this uh, whole interconversion the conversion from electrical to mechanical the electromechanical conversion system that involves the mechanical system the electrical system on the two extremes with the coupling magnetic field in between so this is the block diagram of a electrical generator where the mechanical system is on the left extreme because the input is mechanical, mechanical movement whether it can be any force or torque and then the output is electrical in the form of voltage or current and the electrical system is on the right extreme. For the electrical motor it is just the opposite, the reverse. The electrical system is on the left with the input being electrical and the mechanical system is on the right extreme with the output being mechanical form in the form of torque, force or mechanical movement. The coupling field which is of magnetic nature 
is common in the middle in both the cases. So, let us discuss uh, uh, the magnetic field as a coupling medium. I have already discussed it, but let us uh, for a better understanding. So, the magnetic field as a coupling medium here it involves Fleming's rule as the operating principle. What the Fleming's rule says it, uh, it states the behavior of a conductor placed in a magnetic field. So, according to Fleming's rule, a current carrying conductor when it is placed in a magnetic field, it experiences a force and tends to move, okay, tends to rotate, it experiences a force and if we apply the reverse principle that is if we apply a force on a conductor placed in the magnetic field and try to move it then a current will flow through the conductor. So, in this case the electrical energy is converted into mechanical energy that is the current carrying conductor placed in the magnetic field experiences a force and moves then the electrical quantity that is current is converted into mechanical movement that is electrical energy into mechanical energy conversion. But here we are applying an external force on a conductor placed in the magnetic field. So, this force external force is the mechanical energy and the current which flows through the conductor because of this Fleming's rule principle that is called as the electrical output that we get. So, this is the mechanical energy into electrical energy conversion principle. Now, the direction of the flow of current, the direction of the magnetic flux and the direction of rotation, it is given by the Fleming's rule. That is, it consists of two rules, the Fleming's left hand and right hand rule. So, what it says that the direction of the motion of the conductor, the direction of the magnetic field or flux and the direction of current they are in mutually perpendicular direction at 90 degree angles with respect to each other okay just like you can imagine the x y and z axis okay just like that you can imagine that so the direction of motion the movement of the conductor the direction of the magnetic field and the direction of the current will be in three mutually perpendicular directions at 90 degree angles with respect to each other so the fleming's left hand rule is applicable for this first thing this the current carrying conductor being placed in the magnetic field experiences a force and tends to move that is the electrical energy to mechanical energy conversion is governed by the Fleming's left hand rule and this mechanical energy to electrical energy conversion that is moving applying an external force in a conductor which is placed in the magnetic field causing a current to flow through it that is governed by Fleming's right hand rule. So, both the left hand and right hand rules say essentially the same thing that is the direction of the three parameters force, magnetic field and current are in mutually perpendicular directions. So, that is the main thing. So, so this is uh, the same arrangement that is done that is uh, we have already discussed this is a common experiment that is uh, performed to test this that is uh, we place a conductor a metallic conductor in a magnetic field here we have uh, taken a horseshoe magnet and uh, if uh, we apply a current through it by connecting a voltage source and a switch arrangement then this current flow through this conductor which is placed in this uh, magnetic field in its surroundings it will cause this conductor to move or rotate and the direction of flow of current the magnetic field and the rotation of uh, the conductor will be in mutually perpendicular directions. Consequently the opposite thing is also true that is if we move this conductor okay if we move this conductor in the magnetic field and we remove this voltage source we cut this voltage source and we simply move this conductor in the magnetic field okay if we simply move the conductor in a magnetic field then there will be a current flow through the conductor because of the reverse principle the reverse is also true okay 
a current carrying conductor placed in a magnetic field experiences a force a mechanical movement rotation and if we rotate a uh, current conductor in a magnetic field also a current will be induced in the conductor so both the uh, in both ways it is applicable the forward is true the reverse is also true so according to this the rotating electrical machines can be categorized on the basis of uh, the nature of the voltage source and the nature of the output that is produced okay so the rotating electrical machines are of two types mainly motors and generators motors convert electrical energy to mechanical energy generators convert mechanical energy into electrical energy further they can be uh, sub categorized depending on the nature of the input and output okay so motors can be divided as dc motors and ac motors and generators can be divided as dc generator and ac generator okay dc motors work on dc voltage ac motors work on ac voltage or current that is alternating dc generators produce dc voltage output ac generators produce ac voltage output alternating voltage output so most of our discussion related to this electrical machines in this series of lectures will be on motors and generators we'll also discuss other things but the bulk of the discussion will be about uh, these rotating continuously converting energy devices so now this uh, whole thing this interconversion that takes place between electrical and mechanical system as i said the input and the output okay it can either be the input can either be voltage and current or torque and angular speed or the output can be voltage and current torque and angular speed so when the input is voltage and current and the output is torque and that is mechanical output it is a motor and when the input is torque and angular speed and the output is voltage or current then it is a generator okay so as it is a electrical to mechanical or mechanical to electrical energy convert conversion is going on so this is the basic principle of uh, operation of rotating electrical machines or continuously uh, converting energy conversion devices so this is all about the rotating electrical machines the basic concepts associated with them and the operating principle so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much